that's a 60 cow cut. That rattle is the, uh, the handle of that uh, that G clamp. Come around from a different view. And I'm going to give it 20,000 be enough. have missed a couple there but that's all right this stage we now have a, a block of laminations I can go and check them on the on the grinder to see make sure that the poles line up we're back at the grinder I'm just having a bit of a look here so you got our, our block nicely machined up now if we uh, Line it up with our poles. And turn our mag chuck on. No, I can move it. It's not um, not easy though. It's not easy, but it's certainly not stuck like it should be. Now, if I take a little block of steel and we uh, turn the chuck on. No way I can move that. There's also now no way I can move the block because the block is being clamped down by the part I've put on there. Chuck off. Any resi residual magnetism obviously still still in there just like it is with a normal chuck. Be nicely held on there. Pretty happy with that. The thicker that your block is, um, the more magnetism you'll lose. So if I was to stand this up on edge, and use it, there's not as much, here I can move that, there's not as much clamping force up there. It's still, still quite good, but unless you really had to, obviously avoiding using something so high. Uh, the commercially made blocks, which I have a pair of, these are Eclipse blocks, a very generous, very generous person I've met um, through a, an online forum sent me these. Um, they're obviously a lot thinner and they obviously have 
much finer poles. Now, the fine poles are, are all good and well, which means it means that they'll work on any any chuck with different pole spacings, but it does mean there's the potential for some of the poles to be either over the spacers or something like that. You can see it moves around. Again though, these haven't been, they're, they're a bit rough, they haven't been ground up. So I can't actually move that. Um, no. Oh, I can get it off too actually. But, um, as you can see, they are a little bit rough. They just need a lick with the grinder. I haven't needed to use them for anything yet, so I haven't haven't done that. But, um, now we're just waiting really for our long drill bit. Um, obviously, what I'll do is I'll I'll drill these with a the center drill first, job length drill, a standard long drill bit, um, all in all in six millimeter, and then the uh, the I bought some two hundred mil long drill bits out of out of China off eBay um, so hopefully they'll, they'll be good enough to just drill the, the last bit of hole I can't do with a, a standard long drill bit I have, a, I have a six mil long drill bit there as well as a quarter inch one so I'll do that and then once the once it's six mil all the way through I'll, I'll use a nice quarter inch drill bit to come from either end to clean them up lock tight some quarter inch pins in uh, kind of sink the ends peen them over and then we can start grinding the or machining the V's in them uh, grinding this block square, I'll show you some tricks for grinding the uh, block dead square and how to how to measure it without. Um, it's a few videos on it on YouTube, but how to measure for square without having a a reference to work from. Um, I actually have have a couple of granite uh, granite square there, but I can show you how to use it with the granite square. I can show you how to measure it without the granite square, as long as you've got a grinder that you know grinds parallel, which as long as you ground your chuck, it will. You can test for square without needing a reference. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for more.